Just put a letter out, somebody needs to look it up. Alex, 100 bucks, is Trump going to be president in February? Well, what's up guys, Nuance Bro checking in. We're here in Washington, D.C. at the Save America Rally, or Stop the Steal, whatever you want to call it. Let's go talk to people, see what's going on. So why are we out here today? To stand with Trump for our nation, our constitution, you name it. And what are we trying to achieve? Just to keep our freedoms. Just keep it going. I mean, and keeping Trump in office, or yeah, oh yes, yes, because it ain't going to happen the other way around. That's not happening. Do you think he's going to be able to stay in office? If you were, if you had to bet, do you think like he's going to still be president or Biden? I would still bet for him. Yes, I still bet for him. I still hold faith. I pray to God. Yeah. So a little over two weeks from now, you would put down like a hundred dollars. Trump is still president. Yes. I would. What are some of the issues that Trump has, you know, enacted that you support personally? Um, well, one, the building back of our military. He stands behind our cops. I mean, he stands behind the American people. That's that's it in a nutshell. I mean, and the things he's doing around the world. Is there any it's, laws that he's passed that you were like really you thought was like really I mean, awesome? I wouldn't per se per laws. I, I mean, I don't get into it that deep, but yeah. What, I mean, it's just because he just, he's for the people. I mean, you just listen to him talk. And what, 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 do you, what are some things like Biden and Harris have said or done that really worry you? Um, their tax thing, for one, just the... What about, what specifically about the taxes? The raising the taxes, they're saying they're only going to raise it on the rich, but it trickles down. It, it's a domino effect. Everybody will be affected. It just, it works that way. Does it work that way? <laughs> yes, it does. It does. And what are some things you've seen in the last few weeks or so that either inspire you about this whole situation or really concern you? All these shutdowns, just the the control. I mean, look at any democratic city. They're wanting to hold you. We have a right to go on about our business. Do you, do you support any of the COVID regulations whatsoever or you're just against it all? Or? No, I don't support it. I follow along. I have my mask. I wear it on the metro or if I go into a store. So I'm not trying to fight, you know, that but or anyone. I'm trying to be respectful, but I don't feel I should have to. <laughs> if I choose I don't, you know, I mean, just stay away from me. Stay six feet away then. Do you support the vaccine coming out? And would, would you get vaccinated yourself? I would not get vaccinated yet. What about Trump like promoting the vaccine and saying like this is great and he wants to get people vaccinated? And I understand that he's the president. That's what he's supposed to do. And then a lot of people are following what he says. But no, it's too. It's come out too quick. They don't know long term. You I don't, don't like Operation Warp Speed. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, the long term scares me. You just don't know it. So why are we out here today? To try and change the election that was stolen. Sure. And uh, what's this flag you got here? Mississippi State flag. They changed it recently, I think, right? Well, they changed it, but I didn't. <laughs> there you go. All right. So what are some things, like, you support the president, obviously, right? Obviously. Sure. And what are some things about him that you support? Well, for one thing, he lowered taxes. He's building a wall. Okay. He's a Christian man. <laughs> Maybe. Two Corinthians, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, when you see two, what do you expect? You know, you're reading it, so you see two. That was a bad typo. Sure. Um, so as far as the election being stolen, what are some things that you saw that convinced you that it was a stolen election? Well, I saw the people bringing boxes of votes out from under the table after they were supposed to be closed down. I saw that. I heard. I saw the guy on... Uh, on Fox News, they delivered 100,000 thousand votes to uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, from New York City. There was a, there was a guy who delivered 100,000 votes from New York. Old truck load. What, was that was in that the trailer, in a trailer? That was the guy who wrote one of the affidavits, right? Yes. Okay. He swore he swore an affidavit that he 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 delivered that, and that you know that doesn't mean anything to the court. If I pull out a gun and shoot you here, can all these people are going to be witnesses and you are going to go to court, right? 
Sure, but I mean, there would also be the forensic evidence of the bullet hitting me and like making me bleed, and of course your gun. It's like registered to you or not, but like there would be things like that as well to but it's bolster still, it's, up the witness. It's uh, still a broken law, though, right? It's still it's still a broken law. When you when you cheat on an election, that's a broken law. Sure, but I think what they would say is that it wasn't cheated, right? Like, well, do, you, do you think like the Dominion voting systems was that like a thing that happened? Well, well, sure it was. They were developed in Venezuela. Why are we getting Venezuelan voting machines? I don't think it was developed. In well, I think they like they help. They they might have uh, been contracted to do like an election. It there. was the same machine used in Ven the same maker made the machines that cheat in Venezuela every time that put Hugo Chavez back in power. People don't vote well, for him. Hugo Chavez votes for him. Sure. I mean, it's it's a vote counting system. I mean, they, they were, for example, like people are saying in Georgia, it flipped a lot of votes or whatever. But then they actually counted the votes that went through the machines, and it added up pretty well, much to what the result. Was. But when you don't check signatures, but that, that, that has nothing to do with the Dominion, with right? Like the, the signatures. No, has no, nothing. that's just another. That's just another one of the cheats. But on the Dominion side, if you go and you count the paper ballots that went through the machine, wouldn't that kind of debunk like the Dominion uh, conspiracies? Well, it's kind of like a computer, garbage in, garbage out. If I pull out a thousand fake ballots and run them through a machine, of course they're going to be counted. But then it's not the machine doing that, right? Then that, that's like the actual voter fry that has nothing to do with the machine. No, that that part has nothing to do with the machine. But why did they have, why did they have partial votes? Like I I, I heard that they had like 123 and a half votes. How can you have a a half of a vote unless the machine is rigged? Yeah, that yeah. Half a vote. Yeah, that's what uh -huh. was reported. That was reported on uh, Newsmax. Okay. That they had uh, that one of one of the machines came through that recorded either a half a vote or a quarter of a vote. Now, how can you have a quarter of a vote unless the machine is rigged to count one and a quarter for one guy and one for the other guy? You're never going to win. So, why do you think like Republicans, for example, they gained in the House? If this was like a rigged election, why did they gain in the House but then lose in the uh, the presidential, according to the results that came out? Because they wanted the president, the presidential election, and this election here today, or not the election, the election that was yesterday in Georgia. They used the same machines, the same drop boxes. I mean, you put out a, a box and say, put your ballots in there. I, if I can print out ballots, I can run up there and put a thousand ballots in there and walk away. Sign somebody's name on it, Joe Schmuck, Joe Joe, anybody, and they get counted. That's not right. You don't think it's like changing demographics in a place like Georgia where it's, you know, increasingly we've been seeing this over time, it's become more and more democratic. That, that's some of it, sure. That's some of it, but that, that can't be all of it. And it was also a state that's run by Republicans, like the governor and also the secretary of state, but you feel well, like they're was, compromised? The, the governor was a, is a rhino. I mean, Trump supported the guy. He was, he was doing every, ads every, every talking about he's got his truck, I'm going to drive illegals over the border and deport them. But but he the, the governor couldn't do anything about it. The governor, it was the secretary of state that would have had to do something about it. The governor was helpless in, in, in getting a secure vote. They lost chain of vote, they custody of the votes. They can't even tell you. They, they left votes just sitting in empty buildings overnight. Nobody watched. Anybody could have walked in there and added more votes. And why they? And then they came up with the burst pipe routine. Well, we, that was proven to be a farce. Well, no, it was it was like a leaky urinal or something. Yeah, yeah. So you stop votes in a whole in a whole county because your your toilet has a leak. I Come think they on. stopped it for like a couple hours and then they resumed. And it. then they went home and then the ballots came out from under the desk. Well, I mean, where else would you store the the ballots, right? Well, you wouldn't hide them under a desk, would you? They why not? They it's, a, it's a convenient had, place to store them. They actually had. Uh, blankets over, so they were hidden. They were hidden. They weren't just stacked up out in the middle of the. I mean, I feel like there's better places to hide than right on the table. Like anyone could. Oh my God! This. I mean, it's not illegal to have the votes under the table like that, right? Well, why would you send everybody home and say we've quit counting votes, they, and then they start counting votes again after everybody goes home? Sure. They claimed they didn't tell anybody they had to go home. I mean, there's aff affidavits on both sides that say like we did, we didn't. So, yeah. yeah. There are a lot more conservatives in California than many people think. And right now, President Trump needs us now more than ever. And we are out here to show our support. Some people are projecting 4 million. I think it's a lot more than that what? coming out here. You think there's 4 million people out here? I, I believe there may be more than that out here. 
Uh, the first. One, so why are we out here today? We are out here today to support Trump and just to back him and to show show Congress and the Senate that we got numbers and they better they best do what they need to do for the right. And what is that? Uh, that's make sure that uh, these ballots or these uh, these electors get kicked out of this, and we and Pence does the right thing. He might he might not. Sure. So you, like this is supposing that the election was fraudulent or whatever. Like, how, how do we how do we kind of go about determining like what votes were legit or not legit, and then having electors allocated based on that? Doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to take any evidence if the courts aren't even going to look at it. I mean, if you got, you got, you can have as much evidence if you want, as you want. If they're not going to look at it. What's the point? The whole system's broken. I mean, if they don't do what's right today, they're leaving the country with no choice but the Insurrection Act. And if that happens, God help us all. all right. So, as far as Trump and you supporting him, like, what are some things that he's done that you're a big fan of? Okay. Oh, good Lord, where do you start? You got four years of nothing but good decisions. Well. I wasn't a big fan of the bump stock. Well, I was going to ask because yeah. I saw your flag. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of that, but honestly, the, I'm not a fan of the vaccine. I'm not a fan of the bump stocks, but everything he's done outside of that, I, I can't, I can't criticize. The guy stands for, he stands for the things that the common average person stands for, and that's all that matters. What are like the specific, like what's a specific example? Oh, well, the attempt to get us out of uh, foreign wars. First off, that's a big step. I mean, he's pushed hard for that, and he's had a lot of resistance from uh, rhinos in every direction. The war machine. Uh, I mean, he's increased troop numbers in some areas of like the Middle East and stuff yeah, like but that. Well. There's strategy to that. I'm sure I'm not privy to. I, I just, you know, but I, we don't have blood in the sand the way we did, and we don't have uh, uh, tons of money being poured towards it the way it was. And there's not the uh, opium fields being protected in Afghanistan anymore. I mean, like, DOD just pulled their uh, support from the CIA. I mean, like, they're, he's making the right moves to bring us back to sovereignty. And as far as, you know, obviously the inauguration's coming up, if you had to bet, do you think Trump is still president after the inauguration? I, I got to say I doubt it. I, I, I really doubt it. I mean, I, I think this is going to end up in a war, and I think we're about 100 years overdue. I'm a little more than 100 years, about 120 years overdue. Uh, since Creature of Jekyll Island, since, uh, 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 what was that, 1913 when the Bank of England took us over, I mean, our money hasn't been sovereign, our rights have just been degrading ever since then. I mean, like, you got to... Bank, the Bank of England took us over in 1913? Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I know that what, the Federal Reserve was established the then, is and like the Bank the, of England is it? Yes, it is. I thought Roth, it was like the Bank of Wall Street. The, Rothschilds, kinda. Rockefellers, Vanderbilts, all the scum that's Aren't that's the Vanderbilts American. I don't know, I don't know, but I know their names involved was was involved with that meeting. Just put a letter out, somebody needs to look it up. Alex, a hundred bucks. Is Trump going to be president in February? Yeah. Well, he was elected president. He may be a president in exile. All right, there you go, shadow government. Thank Boom. you, Alex. So why are we out here today? We're out here because this is our 1776, bro. This is us taking back our nation from communists and globalists. They're out in the open. We got them right where we want them. Sure, and what are we trying to achieve? Well, what we are achieving, it's not what we are trying to achieve. What we are achieving is winning this spiritual war. You see, what we are doing here in Washington, D.C. is affecting the quantum realm. What we are doing here in Washington, D.C. is affecting the whole of the world, whether or not we know it or not, whether or not it looks like it or not. We are on the front lines of a spiritual warfare that is literally millennia old, okay? And we are winning. We are winning. And are you trying to keep Trump in office, or what's well, well? Trump is staying in office. You know that Kamala has actually took her vow or took her took her oath for uh, office of the Senate, right? She's, she's what? She, uh, Kamala Harris is a senator. She's not the vice president. She, not yet, yeah. But I'm yeah, saying like after no, no, the 20th. No, no, not yet. No, no, no. There's no not yet. Kamala Harris is a senator. If I'm not mistaken, she actually took her oath of office to be a senator. Already. Which, originally, but no, yeah. already. Like, yeah, but like she took it again. Okay. Sure? She's. She, I'm. I'm pretty. That's what I'm hearing. Sure, but I mean, she could take another oath for vice president. No, after no, the 20th. no, no. That's what I'm trying to say. Look, when Obama won, quote unquote, won the presidency, he renounced his Senate seat like 30 days or so afterward. Okay. Oh. Kamala Harris hasn't done anything like that because she's not going to be vice president. 
I mean, she could technically do it. No, like no, a day no, before, no, no, right? no, no, no. She can't. That's what you don't understand. No, Kamala Harris is never getting in. Joe Biden is never getting in office. It's never going to happen. Okay, we will not allow a communist owned by China. We will not allow a globalist like Kamala Harris, Joe Biden. We will not allow these people in office. Okay, this is our 1776. The communists are like out in the open now. Okay, and this is the thing. If you really think that Donald Trump didn't see this coming, then you're wrong. The executive order 912 2018, right before the 2018 election, that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that Donald Trump knew this was going to happen in 2020. He was prepared for it. The military was prepared for it. And they sought to exploit these communists and these globalists by allowing them to think they could get away with it. So trust the plan, basically? Oh, dude, they fell into, the, the communists and globalists fell into a trap. Yeah, trust the plan. If you understand military, if you understand military intelligence, if you understand what's actually going on here, then there's nothing to be concerned about. If anything, everybody should be happy. Everybody should be celebrating because we're taking our country back, Thank baby. You, we're taking our country. I'm doing an interview, bro. We're taking our country back. You know what I'm saying? We're taking our country back from communists and globalists. And these people have infiltrated our government ever since Operation Paperclip, 1945. Okay? And they infiltrated the media, Operation Mockingbird. Okay? These people have been trying to take down America for decades. Okay? And it's not going to work. It failed. It failed hard. A few moments later. All right, so uh, since we last checked in, uh, apparently there's been a revolution. So uh, let's go check things out. Sir, were you present for the revolution? I've been here since, I don't know, about 9 o'clock. So I, did you go inside at all? Didn't make it inside. Oh, no. no. All right. Did you see anything crazy? <laughs> no, I just saw one guy that was coming out that um, had obviously been affected by the tear gas or something that was going on out there. But, uh, no, we didn't make it to the bottom of the steps. What are your thoughts about what happened up here? I think we sent a good message. Um, I, I'd love to know just how many people by aerial view, what, which, you know, represented America. Um, I'd like to know how many people actually come out to support. And uh, it's just, I mean, to me, it's, it's do or die. I mean, you know, we, I've enjoyed the freedom. I want to grant my grandchildren enjoy the same freedoms I had growing up. And uh, I, if it stays like it looks like it's going, they're not going to have it. I mean, it's not about Democrats and Republicans. It's, it's about good and bad, and it's about freedom versus communism. But it's going to start at socialism, but anywhere it's been socialist government, it turns into communism. And the, the poor college kids, you can't really blame them because they've been taught that crap stuff in school. And, uh, you know, then you got other people that are just... The people that I've talked to that I felt like was intelligent that's, that's voting for Biden, I said, what is it that attracts I just don't like Trump. You know, the man's done what he said he'd do. It ain't like he's doing it for the money. I mean, he's, you know, putting his life on the line, and all, all he's trying to do is get the power back to us. That, that, that's his main goal. And the reason things getting drug out is so that we can educate the rest of the people. And I think this is a big step in that, that direction. Um, if mainstream media cover it and not put a slant on, I don't know who y'all y'all see any by any chance. Yeah, uh, no, y'all see any? Okay. Right. By the way, guys, it's not cheap to come out here, so if you want to support the channel, nuancebro.com slash join. You can become a member. Join the exclusive members only Discord, nuancebro.com slash join. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for future videos. Ah, bled hunter envelope. So I took it with me, but I didn't steal it. I left a quarter on her desk and a note that says, Nancy, let me think, I'm wore out. I got maced really bad. But it says, Nancy, Big O is here, you bitch. She'll find it when she gets back to work. You're an American. Hell yeah, America. America. You made it in there. All righty, let's, let's continue. Let's, let's move on. So why are we out here today? Support our president. And what are we trying to achieve? Uh, basically fight against evil, you know, fighting against a satanic occult taking over our country. Are you trying to keep him in office? Is that one of the goals? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, we want a legitimate vote. So the, it was obviously a fraud election. So I, I would want another vote would be my per, my preference. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, up, it's up to God at this point, I guess. I mean, how do you know how much he, if you believe he won, how do you know how much he won by? 
like based on what metrics, you know? I didn't say you did. I said it's, oh. a, it's a fraud, a widespread throughout the election. Oh, so uh, so you want on. another election? You don't? Yeah, that would be nice. I think. Another one? That'd okay. Yeah. So obviously people stormed the Capitol today. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> that was pretty beautiful. I was there. I was up, up in the corner there. Did you make it inside? No, I got a little bit of the gas, but that's the, I don't have a mask, so I had to retreat that, but it was pretty beautiful. Spirit of 776 lives. Are you not cold at all? <laughs> the, the, the spirit of pastry system burns bright. <laughs> all right. Do you do you think Trump ultimately is going to be president after inauguration day? Yeah, I mean, I think he's a berserker sent from God to save us from Satan's will incarnate, essentially. So, uh, we'll see. If you had to bet. If you had to bet, see what happens? It's a it's a fight against you know, good against evil. Sometimes you can't say who's going to win, really. You know, I'm here to fight the battle, but you know, to, to predict the future, that ain't me. So why are we out here today? Uh, I was originally out here to detest the fraudulent election, the COVID lockdowns, and the government overreach uh, from the shutting down of small businesses, the skyrocketing of suicide abuse, uh, like, uh, the drug abuse, even alcohol abuse, and I originally went out here for the uh, voter fraud. And when, uh, after the Trump march, I walked down here and it shit just went crazy. What do you think about that? I'm not surprised. It's a really trying time for our nation and a lot of uh, our, their, our citizens are were tired we're pissed off. We don't. We we're tired of the government overrule, and we simply just want our freedoms back. We simply want our normal life back. And uh, there's a lot of pent up rage, but it's a warning to the government that don't mess with us, right wingers. And as it says on my flag and my headband, don't tread on me. So people were oh yeah, go ahead. because. This is what happens when un when our citizens are stepped on every f***ing day by people like Nancy Pelosi or the GOP that stabbed us in the back. Don't tread on us because we'll bite back. So people were assaulting officers in order to get into this building and then they eventually made their way into the building. It seems like they did, there was some vandalism going on and whatnot. Do you support that? Uh, so I don't support the vandalism. It started out peacefully. <laughs> But the assaulting Michael, officers was okay? Or? No, not, not even that. They sh they shot us first, actually. We were well, for we what were, reason, right? We like, were we were quite content on holding our ground that we were that we had. We were quite content with the line they that they set, and I guess they shot first. So I was shot with that first wave of the tear gas, and. Uh, People got riled up, they got in the officer's face, and it, it was, I guess it just progressed naturally. I don't, I feel bad for the officers that were assaulted, but I also am pretty mad at them because I was tear gassed four times. Did you make it inside? No. Once I saw the people start banging on the glass, I was out. This is a peaceful protest. I'm not here about destruction. Mostly peaceful? Mostly peaceful. <laughs> Way to use that against us, but uh, uh, it's we tried. We it it just got crazy. Oh well, there's more tear gas going on uh, behind us here. So uh, yeah, looks like they're they flushing first. people out. They shot first. That's all I want to say. We weren't the ones who wanted to get violent, but once you push us, we push back. We stormed the Capitol. So. It's a fair warning to our ruling leaders that we will we rule you. You don't rule us. Who needs the mayor's address? Oh, hit me up with that shit. Uh, it looks like they're going to the mayor's house after this. Are you going to the mayor's house? No, I'm trying to get back home and into my bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the revolution dies uh, in a snuggy, warm bed. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Adios. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Support us at nuancebro.com slash join. Social media links are in the description box below, and I'll see you next time. Bro.